And thanks for joining us on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm Tim Seaman. A global shortage of personal protective equipment remains a threat in the fight against COVID-19. KCA United News reporter Lydia Vasquez today sharing the situation that healthcare professionals in Siouxland are facing and how the community can help. That's our top story this afternoon at 5 o'clock. Lydia. Tim, healthcare workers need PPE to protect themselves and their patients from being infected and infecting others. That equipment includes face masks, gowns, and, and um, gloves as well. So even though Siouxland hospitals say they're not experiencing extreme shortage, PPE is needed to get ahead of the curve. PPE shortages across the globe are leaving healthcare workers ill-equipped to fight COVID-19. At Faith Regional Health Services, supplies are steady. Dr. Mark Davis is Faith Regional's chief medical officer. He says even though their supplies remain stable, they are working to stay ahead. The biggest thing that we need right now is probably the same thing that everybody else needs is surgical masks are always going to be in short supply. The N95 masks, isolation gowns. Dr. Davis says they are preparing for a surge in COVID-19 cases in the next few weeks. He is calling on all businesses who may have a bulk supply of medical equipment, like dental clinics, nail salons, and tattoo parlors, to donate to local clinics. There are supplies out there, and people so far have been very generous in helping us with those supplies. So, uh, again, industry, any other medical offices that aren't using them um, could be good help. In Iowa, Governor Kim Reynolds is asking the communities for help. Our health care professionals are risking their own health to serve those who are sick, and we must do everything we can to protect them. I'm asking also for your help. If you can sew, we need your time and talent to produce fabric face masks to protect Iowa's frontline workers. Dr. Davis says Faith Regional has postponed all elective procedures to kind of free up some of that equipment and other supplies that are needed. Reporting live at Siouxland District Health, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News. All right, Lydia, thanks for that. And